Hey class, welcome to the next tutorial here on persuasive essay topic and audience. There's two atta uh, attachments. Uh, one's a worksheet, which I'll get to in a second. This one here is just the guidelines um, and something to go through with you. Um, so in this class, you're going to be writing the essay. Uh, the rough draft is right here. It's going to be due in week five. Uh, so these first few weeks, from weeks one through four, is going to be a buildup. Some of these times it's going to be a buildup on developing the essay. And this week, we'll be right here with the uh, topic and audience. OK, and that's basically showing picking the topic that you are selecting from and uh, explaining why you're basically choosing it and who your audience is. Now, I know I said this probably in the video already, but I'm going to say it again. Academic essays, even if it's a topic that you're passionate about or something you know uh, a lot about. But unfortunately, essays are not about your viewpoint, not about my viewpoint or your viewpoint. Academic essays are never about that. They're about what research states, okay? So you can't, you can't uh, put your personal viewpoint in it, but some of these questions will ask for you, like, why did you choose this? Or it's gonna ask for some per first person stuff. Uh, try to write in third person at all times. But remember, you're not adding any experiences or any thoughts to the topic, research guides of conversation. That's just academics. Now, here's a, a good way to review um, how to find peer reviewed sources. I also put in the, in, in, in DQ2, I also put in how to use the GCU library kind of way of looking at it so that you can find your information for your other worksheets, okay? Um, it's really a good way to help out, all right? So if you have any questions about this worksheet, let me know. This is the worksheet that you're gonna be submitting. You're picking a topic. So here's some controversial topics, obviously, to cause um, some kind of uh, discussion and debate. But like I said, whatever you choose, you can have a passion for, you can have knowledge for, you can have a view, viewpoint for. But when you start writing your outline in your essay, it's got to be left out. Research guides the conversation. Okay. I respect people's experiences and knowledge and viewpoints, but unfortunately, academically, the research has to be the one driving the discussion. So if I want to take select a topic from here, like let's say I want to select prison reform, I'll just go over here and I'll click on it and highlight it. Okay, whichever one you want you know, legalizing marijuana, universal, it doesn't matter which one you want, you go ahead and you just highlight it, um, the one you want. So notice how I just highlight it. If that doesn't work, you can highlight it and come up here and press this one right here where it says text highlight color, okay? Uh, what is the chosen topic for your persuasive essay? You would just put prison reform um, um, here. Uh, be, uh, begin thinking about the different issues that are associated with it. You want to narrow your focus uh, and take a pro or con position, which is fine. Um, you want to present a simple statement for your position here, like, for example, personal use of social media is not appropriate in the workplace. Just, you know, some people could put, you know, um, the use of marijuana is not healthy, therefore it should be illegal. Or if you take the stance, uh, marijuana has med medicinal benefits and should be legalized. So you could take whatever stance it is. Prison reform, prison sentence reform, you can take it both sides as well. So you don't have to take one side or the other. Uh, you, don't, you don't have to feel compelled to take a side. You could choose a side. But again, when you write the essay, you're writing it based off the information you receive on your research articles, the three research articles you have to find. Uh, pay close attention to this. 50 to 100 words thing, I do keep track. It, the, the reason why there's a word count is so that students have enough, in, enough uh, explanation to explain themselves, okay? Uh, and this one says, give rational, uh, give a rationale for the stance you chose, avoid using emotional reasoning, just focus more on facts uh, and evidence, um, you know, that's what you're going to use more so here on this part one. Be thorough. Don't just give me one liner saying, you know, 
um, I believe this, I believe, you know, prisons uh, reform should happen, the inmates should get, you, you know, uh, help for jobs, and that's it. Don't give me one sentence, give me a couple sentences. It's got to be 50 to 100 words, so it's got to be multiple sentences. The only one that where you'll have like maybe one sentence is here uh, is this one right here because it's asking for the topic he chose. You can write it out in one sentence there, but these other ones should have a well on this one too because an example of a statement. But most of these other ones, you nearly need to have a thorough explanation. Same thing here in section two, you want to review this media piece. Always review media pieces before. If you ask me questions about certain sections or assignments, and I, if you're asking certain questions, I can tell if you haven't paid attention to this, to these uh, links or anything or videos that are given in class. So you want to make sure you're paying close attention. All right. Here you want to do thorough explanations here like who is the ideal audience and why anytime you see this and why even even if you don't see and why you should always be thorough but it's asking you and why you need to have multiple sentences on here it even says this you know answer the following in multiple sentences in complete sentences uh, this is the sentences that's implying more than one I say you should write over four sentences per question answer. Okay, so if you're looking for a guide, be thorough, in other words. Okay, don't just give me, you'll lose points very fast on that. Okay, so once you save all this, you're stuck. Let's, let's make sure I, I'm clear with this. Do not change your topic. Once you submit this worksheet and it's graded out, I'm, you're not going to change it. All right, you, there's no need to. Okay, you, you're not, you know, you're not changing the world tomorrow. You're not publishing something that's going to go public it's an assignment that teaches you how to choose pick a pro or con on the side research it discuss it academically in third person okay so if you have any questions about this uh you know please please let me know